Hey guys, it's Lori. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and I'm really excited about it because there are so many new things this time. Let's get right into it and start out with the boring stuff as usual. I like to show you everything that I get, so that's what I do. I got some baking soda and this is the kind that's supposed to be for like to keep your refrigerator fresh and it does have a different texture than regular baking soda but I like it. It's really good scouring powder if you want something a little more natural than like Comet or something like that. So that's what I use that for. And I also picked up another set of nail brushes. I just recently got some and they're in the bathroom. There's one at the bathroom sink and one with my shower stuff. So this is for the kitchen sink. And the one that I have there is just the small one. I'm gonna put both of them by the kitchen sink. I got these for Chase. He was actually here, let's see, I don't know, a couple weeks ago when we had a barbecue and he asked about these, but he was getting ready to leave. And I said, you wanna take some with you? You know, I'm like, they're already frozen, but so I can pick you up another box next time I go. Happened to see him, so I grabbed him. He said that would be wonderful. I also grabbed some mermaid fruit snacks. <laughs> we got a beach day coming up here pretty soon with the grandkids, and I thought my granddaughter might enjoy a little something, you know, girly, I guess, mermaids. She'll like those, and I'll bet you the boys will probably have some too. <laughs> so anyway, these, okay. These fruit and grain bars, I got these, I don't remember if it was my last haul or maybe the one before, whatever, but these fruit and grain bars are wonderful. They are really good. I highly recommend these. They come, I think there's five in here. Oh no, there's six. I don't know why I thought there was five, but there's six of them in here. And these are a huge hit with the, with the grandkids. They love them. Okay, this is something that I've been looking for for a while because I'm on my last pack. These patty squares. Patty squares, they're just like wax paper squares for in between hamburgers or, you know, whatever frozen meats or something like that. And these are amazing. I absolutely love these. There's a hundred sheets in here. So now I have a couple extras and uh, I hadn't been able to find them in a while. So I thought I'd grab a couple while they were there. I don't know if they're seasonal or what, but these are fantastic. And I just used them in the refrigerator. We had leftover pizza and there was quite a bit of leftover pizza. So, you know, sometimes if you put pizza in a container and it's stacked on top of each other, the slices, they kind of like stick together and then you end up with, you know, stuck together pizza for your leftovers. I put some of these in between the slices and it worked out perfect. So you can use them for things besides just, you know, in between hamburger patties. I hadn't gotten anything like this in a while. Can you hear it? I had to get Winston a dog toy. I gotta tell ya, they had one that also had flamingos on it and I almost got it, but I thought, no, just get them, you know, just, this will be fine. <laughs> I also grabbed a couple of notepads. These little notebooks right here, they have an amazing selection of notebooks and planners and journals and stuff like that right now so many different things. McKenna and I were actually in Dollar Tree together. That's my son's girlfriend. And we were, we were really loving looking at these notebooks. These I bought to give as gifts and they do say things on the inside. And there was probably six different designs, but this one just says, you got this. And it says it on all the pages. So there's that one. And then this one says, choose happy. And again, it says it on all the pages. So I don't know. I just thought that was really a cute idea for a journal. And I suppose my daughter's going to watch this. She's said she's been watching my videos. Anyways, I thought my daughters would enjoy something like this because they do like to journal and write. Okay. I also grabbed some florals. Let me get them. I put them so far away from myself. I can barely reach them. So first I picked up these. I already got some similar to these, but I didn't get any yellow. So I have them right over there. I don't think I have any yellow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I got yellow. I thought this was just really pretty and this would make a really nice fall, even just an arrangement in a vase or whatever for crafting, making wreaths, all sorts of things. And I also grabbed some of this 
eucalyptus. And I got four of these and they have kind of the yellowish sort of, I don't know, tint to them, I guess. And then I got this one also and it has more of a an orangish tint to it, I suppose. So here's the difference. You can tell there's definitely a difference, but I got four of each of these. And again, I thought they would look nice with the other flowers in either an arrangement or, you know, a wreath or what, whatever. And I do want to make a new wreath for my front door. And I thought I'd make one for my back door. I love making wreaths, but anyway, let's move on to all the new stuff. Oh, wait, I do have a couple other things sitting right here beside me. I just grabbed one of these trays right here. It's just like a plastic veggie tray. Now last year I got one of these and I turned it this way and I put another like a metal flower thing on it and I hung it up out by our garden and it was actually kind of pretty. Anyway, this is actually gonna be used for, we're gonna do at our next barbecue. Instead of having an actual barbecue, we're just gonna do a taco bar. And I thought this would be wonderful to put like the toppings in, you know, your tomatoes and your lettuce and your cheese and whatever, whatever toppings you have, maybe some sour cream in the middle. So anyway, that's what that's for. And since we're going to be doing the taco bar, I thought I would get like different kinds of shells, different, like I'm getting some like tortilla bowls and crunchy shells, soft shells and all that. And I thought it would be nice to be able to put those on a tray. And I don't know, just because why not, if nothing else to carry things with, but these trays are actually new and they have navy blue and like a turquoise or an aqua color as well as this gray. At least at my Dollar Tree, that's what they had. But I got two of these and I think they'll be really handy just to use as an actual tray to carry things with. Okay, I'll be right back with all the new stuff. Just to show you, while I'm pausing, I'm sticking all this stuff in a basket and I'm gonna go around with everything in the basket and put it where it belongs. So that's one thing. I do not like to go and shop for a Dollar Tree haul unless I have everything put away from the previous one. So otherwise I'll have junk sitting around everywhere and I won't even know what I have. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here's all the new stuff and I have everything in a big basket and it's kind of just tossed in there. So I'm gonna do my best here. <laughs> Okay, there's one item that's not actually new to Dollar Tree, but it is new to my Dollar Tree. I have not seen these yet, and they're these wheel, they're like, it says bicycle wheel wreath ring. That's what it says. So I got a couple of those, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I really like them. They could even be like a wagon wheel type thing, but anyway... I really like those and I guess sometimes it's just the challenge of finding it, like the thrill of the hunt, you know? <laughs> I picked up some ribbon. This one right here has bumblebees on it and it's got some words. I can't remember exactly what the words were, but I'll kind of put it up here, turn it around a little bit so you can see if you want to. And this ribbon right here that looks like a beehive don't those look cute together and I'm thinking I'm just thinking like cute gift wrap I'm not thinking about using them for a craft necessarily just I like to get creative with my gift wrapping so I thought this was cute along with some of this just regular narrow black ribbon and they had a gray ribbon that was in the same box with these that looked really good with it too and I could have sworn I picked up the gray as well but I'm not seeing it here so I don't know but these will be cute together maybe I didn't get the gray thought I did Anyway, they also had these Buffalo Check fabric pumpkins. These are like styrofoam on the inside. I thought these were so pretty. I've seen on another Dollar Tree haul where they do have black and white checked as well, but not at my Dollar Tree. These were the only two colors that they had, but I think these are really cute and they look really good, like in a tiered tray or just sitting with uh, an arrangement of some kind for fall or Halloween, either one. Some people decorate just kind of fun for Halloween and that would look really cute with something, a fun Halloween decor theme. Okay, these, oh gosh, I don't generally like pre-made bows, but every now and then I see one that just really catches my eye and I thought these were so cute with the blue truck on them. So yeah, those are so cute. And they have like pumpkins in the back but you could almost get away with using those on a Christmas gift or something. And I don't think anybody would notice, <laughs> to be honest with you. Anyway, you could even DIY it and just make that like a tree or something in the back. 
I may do that just for fun. Okay, so there's those. And I also picked up these little flowers, just little sunflowers, and they're, they have little wires on the back. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with these. I may just put them in my stash with my fall stuff. They might look cute on a wreath or on a sign or who knows. But I got these because I wanted to have them on hand. I also picked up this flower right here. It's just a small flower on a stake. You could put it in a plant. And this, this is on a spring. This is, I'll try to show you. I'll bend this cardboard back so you can see that that is on a spring. So it kind of, I don't know, wobbles a little bit, I guess. I don't know if it would necessarily move at all if it's sitting in a plant, but there's that. <laughs> and oh, and I got two of those. I just thought they were super cute. And I do have some plants in here that I could put those in. I also found some of these little wooden things. They had little wooden acorns and little apples. I just think they're cute. And I don't know, you could use them for like vase filler or something like that, or, you know, to put down in the bottom of a candle holder or something, I don't know. I don't know. But I, but I got them, I don't even know why. I just did, I liked them, so. So there's those. I also had to pick up one package, I just got one of these. It says Fabric Roses, but they're burlap roses. So yeah, I thought those were kind of cute too. And they would look nice as an embellishment on lots of different things. And you've probably all seen those little hay bales that you can get, they're about like, I don't know, probably about four inches, I suppose. Little, um, got a hair on me, little hay bales. Well, they have these little mini hay bales. Those are so stinking cute. And this would even make a good embellishment for a wreath. I'm just thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna do for a wreath, but I got a lot of options now. <laughs> so, and, and I keep saying wreath because that's what I have in my mind that I'm gonna make next. So anyway, and they're, this is actually heavier than you would think. They're pretty solid. So I don't think they're gonna make a huge mess when I open this package. You know what, let's just see. Let's just check right now. Pull them out of the package and nope, there's nothing coming off of them. Maybe a little fuzz, a little dust I can kind of see floating. But other than that, yeah, they're not making a mess at all. So that is definitely a plus. Okay. So my granddaughter was here last weekend and she is really, she's crafty. She's a crafty little girl. She's only five, but she loves to paint. And that's what she, she did some painting and we did some gluing and I helped her with the, the, the low temp glue gun. So we did some stuff like that and I thought, the DIY rock painting kit might be nice for her. And this one says, give thanks on this rock. So there's that one. And then this one says, gather. And this one says, thankful. I don't know if you can see it. I know there's a glare on the plastic wrap, but it does say thankful on it. So I was thinking I could do one, she could do one, and maybe Hayden could do one. McKenna was in there with me, so she bought herself one of these too. And at least I think she did. Didn't you, McKenna? She usually watches. <laughs> but anyway, if she wants to, she can even keep hers until we do this and we could all do it together. So that would be fun. All right, I have to show you these. Okay, what's this say? Be blessed, thankful. I'm not sure I love like the writing. I think it looks kind of, I don't know, sort of janky if you really want to know. But I got this little stack of pumpkins. This has got some weight to it. It's pretty good quality. But you can turn this thing around and it's just like this. And you could put like some twine or some, uh, what do you call it, raffia or something like that in the middle, just to kind of separate them a little, whatever. But I grabbed this one and this white one, which again, you can turn it around and it's got like that crackled look to it. They both do. And this one, that's like this real light aqua color. So all three of these together, I think they're just really pretty. I don't know, I just liked them. And these do have some weight to them. Okay, so there's those. And okay, let's go with the tin signs. I got some tin signs, guys. All right, this one says, happy fall, y'all. A wagon, look at that beautiful blue. I just like that. I like that, th that it has different colors, like the blues and, you know, this, this sort of pinkish, maroonish color. I really like the colors. 
So there's this one. They also had one that was a truck, but it was really blurry. And I've been to like, I think three different Dollar Trees where I've seen them. And there's quite a few of them there. I don't think anybody really wants them because they're all blurry. All of them, like at all the Dollar Trees, every one of them. So anyway, and it has a nice piece of twine on it too. It's not one of those thin things that's gonna break in like two seconds. So there's that. And this one is a yard stake. I just thought this was really pretty. It's very different. It's yellow, the yellow and white. It's kind of an off-white really, but no, oh, it's pretty white. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter. I thought this was pretty and it is a stake. So you could put this in the ground outside or you could remove this. It looks like it'd be fairly easy to take this off and just use this as an embellishment somewhere. And this one, okay. This one's just such a pretty color. It's that same color, maroonish color, I guess. I don't know, what color do you call that? Sort of pinkish, reddish, I don't know, but it's just pretty. So, and this is also a steak. So there's that one. Got a couple more steaks. This one is the blue truck with the sunflower and the pumpkins. Really like that. And when they're like this on the back, it's really easy to get these off. So if you wanted to use the truck for something else, you could, something other than just with the steak. But yeah, I really like that. I think it's super pretty. And the last steak that I got was the tractor. I think that's pretty cool. I really like it. Welcome to our farm. Can you tell that that's a little bit sort of, I don't know if it's coming across a little bit blurry, but I've noticed that some of their stuff is a little blurry. So anyway, a tractor. I'm not sure if, if that wheel would work out real well shaped like that, if you're actually gonna drive this thing, but <laughs> anyway, this is a stake. All right, so let's move on to some wood signs and I think that's gonna be it, so. Okay, so here's a couple of these, like little ornament type things. Harvest blessings and hello pumpkin. Again, with the wreath embellishment, that's a possibility. But you could hang these from, like you could make a garland or you could do all sorts of things with this. Hang them from a knob on your on a dresser or something. I don't know. <laughs> but there's those. And I got some of these a couple of years ago, but they have new designs this year. So this one, what's it say? Farm Fresh Blessed with the apples. And this is an apple shape with the, the little... um metal leaf on here and let me just show you real quick with this one okay you can turn this around if you wanted to diy on this and you could paint something on the back of this and if you wanted to this leaf will turn around and bend so that you could use it on this side so yeah there's that or if you didn't want it in there at all you could just take it out because it's just like poked into the top right here oh you probably can't see it so yeah anyways there's some options with that. And this one is also new. This one says Happy Harvest. I don't think this is the same as the ones they had last year, but you know, I could be wrong, but I don't think it was the same. So Happy Harvest, thankful. And same with the leaf, you can flip it around if you wanted to and use it on the back side. So, yep, there's that. I also decided to pick up this wooden pumpkin with like the raised sections on it. That bow leaves a little something to be desired though, doesn't it? But it does have a hanging piece of twine right there. Just a wooden pumpkin. Here is another wooden pumpkin that looks more like, like slats, I guess. So there's this one and there's also a leaf. Yeah, I don't know. I think I like it better this way, but I don't know. Anyways, there's a leaf and there's also an acorn. I noticed, um, when, after when I got home with it, I noticed that it has like a mark right here, but you know what? That's like a, a gouge, but I'm fine with that. Cause if I paint it or stain it, that's just gonna make it look, I could just make it look more rustic. You know what I mean? A couple of these wooden signs right here. Okay, this one says home and this one says fall. So I just thought, I, I thought these were pretty with the colors again, with the blue and I just like the colors. So fall and home. And if you wanted to, you could even cover up like the A on this one with an embellishment of some kind and same with the O on this one. You could cover it with like a wooden pumpkin or you cover the A with a football or something like that. So I don't know, just an idea if you wanted to do anything with it, but I think they're pretty just like they are. All right, so this is the last thing and it's just a 
plain wooden piece. I mean, it's just like a plank. It's decent sized and it's got this cutout right here. What, is that a pumpkin or an apple? I think that's a pumpkin. I think McKenna and I actually talked about that in the store, but I got two of these and they're both the same. I believe they have some that are dark wood as well, but I could be mistaken. Not at my store, they didn't. So I just got a couple of these. I was thinking, you know, I could do something with my Cricut, but yeah, put welcome on it or whatever. You can get creative and write whatever you want to on it. Or we could, you could be like my neighbors. They have one of those big wooden welcome signs have you seen those just like big long piece of wood that says welcome down it and sometimes the O will be like a shape of some kind a football team that you like 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 an emblem or you know a wreath or whatever they have one of those on their by their front door only there says go away I'm not sure I like that I wouldn't have it at my house but okay it's a little funny anyways you could write go away on it that was my point all right that's everything you guys I can't begin to tell you what my favorite thing is because I love so many of these new things. Oh my gosh, I don't know. What's your favorite thing, guys? <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Did you hear that? <laughs>